Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Angular. Today we are going to learn about how do I integrate Raza payment in the gateway in Angular and the Node.js. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. First, we will do the demo. After that, we will dive into the code level. Okay, so here we have the front end that is Angular. Let's pay with Raza Pay. So this pop-up screen will come up okay and do any of the upi payment gateway so i'm using a phone pay so here i'm going to add my upi so here i need to add the upi like this at the rate anything just uh, for the testing purpose okay pay now And you can see payment successful if i go and this is the payment id ug ug is my payment id if i go back and console here you can see we have all the information like order id amount and this signature and everything okay so let's go and check in the dashboard of the razor pay that this payment recorded or not let's go to the payments so here is my dashboard again they want me to log in okay so let's log in with this one uh, so where is my email? Email is Royal Rajnikant1993, I think, gmail.com. Let's go to the next process of password. I just don't remember, but let's see. Is it working? Yeah, it's working. Okay, we are on the dashboard right now. Okay, and do the payments. Here we go, transactions and uh, the current payment is what? The current payment is this one. This is capture payment. Okay, and this is 6-4. You can see it's February and February 20. And this is the payment. And let's check the transaction UG. Payment ID is this one. Bank Arana order ID is this one. Okay, you can see over here the order ID. Order ID is 0H. Okay, and it's recorded over here right and the upi method customer details okay and the bearer okay. everything is there right so this is how you can see we have captured the razor pay payment into our razor pay dashboard with the angular and the node shares let's dive into the code level okay so first we will go with the node shares code so here we have the payments file so you so I think those who have the basic knowledge of the Node.js, they come to know about that, uh, what we have to create the project for the Node.js. Okay, so first of all, you have to initialize the project with npm init y to create a project. Okay, with the directory. First, you can make a directory. Okay, so mkdir make directory with the project name. After that, you have to do the npm init y for the including the packet.json file. After this, in this folder, what you have created, installed express raza pay course so you have to install this npm packages okay then start the writing the code over here so here we have a raza pay require the key id and the secret how to get this you have to go to your account settings here we have the api keys here you get the api key id and uh, expire never so you uh, if you are the first one to generate then generate the test key then you will get the secret key also and key id also okay the next step would be like uh, creating the REST API for the create order where we had sending the amount, currency and the receipt. Okay, so you have to send and it will give you the order ID. So you have to pass this order ID into your Angular application and the amount also. If you want to send, then send the amount also. Okay, and this is a success URL and the cancel URL if you want to handle the payments. Okay, so you want to redirect somewhere or like so you can do that one or you can uh, here you can see we have the all the information like the data the object okay so you can also send this data to the api and the api will save this data into the database also okay so moving to the next part this is the api endpoint which is completed okay so the main main api that i'm using currently that is can create order okay so this is the api that i'm using okay so the next step that we are going to go with the angular application okay this is the angular application so here we have the payment section that i have created and here we have the app modules okay so here i am app module we have uh, app routing so here i am just adding all my codes over here 
app routing i think payments no this is not required so basically app in the app component you can use so this is app component which i have created okay so here i am adding the window ref service okay for opening the window and this is http client for calling the api okay and this is the component payment html for the click on the razor pay button so that uh, this component this component will call okay so here we have a create razor pay okay so here we have the http client and the window service so i will show you how to create the window service also so what how i have created this one so let me show you i have running the command give me a second this is one ng generate service window ref in the source app you have to run this command so it will generate this service this file window service and paste this code over here okay and then you have to call this over here window service okay so for opening the window of the razor pay that's important okay so after this we have to go with the uh, method that is create razor pay order okay so here you want to send the data you can send the data from the form okay and this is the post api so here we, in the response we get the order id and we are going to send this order id into the pay with razor so here we have the pay with razor we are going to send the order id okay and in the order id we have to get the key id then amount then currency okay name description order id value okay modal we should prevent closing the form when escape key is present to so escape would be false okay and notes if you want to add the notes you can in notes because here you can see in the raza pay dashboard there is an option that is called the notes here we go with the transactions here we have this one so here we have the notes section also so here you can see notes so you can add the notes description also okay so the next step this is done now we have option handler so we are going to get the response okay so we have to log the response and the options and here you can see that you can call your backend api to verify the payment signature or capture transaction so here you can call and send this information to the backend so that they can save their credentials over here okay and then options.model.dispis handle the case when a user closes the form while transaction is in progress so that the transaction can be cancelled and you don't need to log any kind of details over here so here we are just uh, new this window ref new native window razor pay option so here we are opening the window razor rz dot open so it will open the pop up and here we are going to put the uh, credentials and do the payment okay so this is the main file that we have done this one and uh, app module.ts is their service file we have already created right so this is service window this is another testing file right and uh, in the index.html make sure you have to include this one checkout.razorpay.com.v1 checkout.js okay and anything which i have done i think no no packages is required over here okay so this is the source code of full fledged that you are able to integrate razor pay with angular and the node.js and this is latest angular i suppose give me a second i think packet.js and this is angular 15 they were okay so this is angular 15 that we have uh, implemented okay so any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section Thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like, share and comment on my video. Have a nice day.